Okay, welcome back to the 500 workshop. Um, after a long journey with our engine, uh, we got it started. Um, don't know if you recall, uh, but we had a problem with this part. Uh, the oil uh, filter uh, pulley piece um, with the alignment. And when we actually swapped that one out, uh, it turned out that the timing could be better and and we could actually get it started distributor was was 180 degrees out we also had a problem with the um, carburetor uh, but we quickly realized once it had started that we didn't have oil pressure and so then began uh, a voyage of discovery we um, had to take pretty much the whole engine apart again and follow the oil channels round. And what we found just behind this cog here, the small cog, uh, which is on the crankshaft, um, is kind of a washer. And it looks like this. And it's got this, uh, this band around it which uh, clamps together to, to allow it to uh, sit in place correctly. And I'd installed it facing this way. Um, now unfortunately the way the oil system works is it needs to be facing this way in order for the oil to come into this channel and feed into the crankshaft. So after we discovered that we reversed it. We're now just putting it all back together one final time um, and hopefully we can run it and check the oil pressure and make sure we've got um, the right oil pressure uh, to run the engine safely. So that's what we're going to continue to do now. So the engine's back in the car, is full of oil, and before we actually start it properly, we have taken the um, spark plugs out. We can turn over the engine, and we have a pressure gauge here, and we're looking for oil pressure. So uh, where the oil pressure sensor is, we've put a little, uh, we've removed the oil pressure sensor, screwed in a little gauge, which this is going to plug into, going to turn it over and hopefully we'll see some oil pressure. Keep going. And again. Anything? Yeah, and again. <laughs> we have oil pressure. Okay. Yay, we have oil pressure. Excellent news. So uh, now we can put the oil pressure gauge in and hopefully, and the spark plugs, and hopefully we can start it properly.